Hey guys, welcome back to Clan Brandalorian. I'm the Brandalorian, and let's take a deep dive into my childhood. And just to start this video off, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my boy Chris over at Seriously Star Wars. He has a YouTube channel where it all goes over anything Star Wars and the collecting universe. Gets a lot of guests together, does a fan battle for trivia. Go check him out. The reason I'm bringing him up is because he sent me two lovely gifts that take me way back. And I'm talking, I'm 27 years old now, and this goes back to when I was like seven, eight, nine years old. And yeah, you can read right here, 2005 Burger King Corporation. I went through three food poison episodes, and these gifts are these two right here. Episode two and episode three, watches. So these were insane collectibles and the things I had to go through to get all six of them, I would end up getting duplicates and would ask the Burger King people that were working if I could trade out, you know, my duplicate watch for one that I didn't have yet. And of course they hooked your boy up. But yeah, this is over 20 years ago. This is crazy. So when I opened up the package and saw these, I was like, man, no way. Chris heard me on a live stream talking about them. You know, these were the only two I was missing over the years and uh, here they are. And yeah, I don't know if you can see right there, but it says 2005 Burger King. So this is, uh, this is way back guys. And yeah, here are all the watches right here. I absolutely love the way these look. They kind of have like a dark side and a light side to them. So let me show you. So yeah, when we flip them over, this is how it looks. You know, we got Maul, Dooku, Vader, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, and Jabba the Hutt. And like, for instance, you can see how brand new this is. It's still in the packaging. It looks really, really good. But if we go to like my Return of the Jedi one, you can see all the dents and the scratches. And this is just from, you know, 20 years of just kind of being thrown around. But I did have one right here where my dog, Chewy, may he rest in peace, had uh, chewed a bunch of pieces on the top and kind of made it bent. So yeah, if you were to open this, you can really see all those uh, teeth marks from my old dog. <laughs> but yeah, and it's cool, the little watches are inside. And here's the Boba Fett one just to show, like this is how old this thing is, man. Like, And they have like the holographic little Millennium Falcon on there. Really, really awesome detail. But that was the thing, you know, like I used to wear these to elementary school every day. I used to, you know, swap them out, different ones and definitely kind of show my Star Wars swag as you'd say back in the day. So yeah, these, these were something else for the time. Yeah, with Chris sending these over here, I can't open these, man. These gotta stay in the in the little canister. If I'm gonna look at any of them, it'll be the OG ones that I have here, because these are the ones that I can open easier, and I could, if I could do it all over again, I would collect all of these and get them and keep them in pristine shape. Um, but yeah, you know, this is just part of the thing that just shows you, you know, collecting, you never get too old for it, you're never too young for it. It's just a hobby, and if you're interested in it, go do it never never be afraid to collect things guys so yeah who knows maybe i'll go and get the rest of them and keep them in pristine shape and start a new collection that way but you know i can't i can't let these go you know these are og like these are straight from 2005 like like i said guys i was a kid you know like i'm seven eight nine years old when i was collecting all of these and it was a rough journey getting them because i don't know what it was at for that time and burger king if y'all see this video don't be mad at me i got food poisoning like three different times and i had to go through that just to get all of these watches do i look at it now and say it's worth it 100 percent. but yeah it's awesome you know these were really really cool collectibles and i feel like they just don't do fast food toys like that anymore so once again shout out my boy chris go give him a follow i'll put his stuff down in the description so make sure you guys go hit him up and until next time guys i'll see y'all in the next video clan brandalorian i'm out